On August 1, the Russian Ministry of Defense once again announced the destruction of two HIMARS dual rocket launchers. As usual, the rocket system was destroyed with precision weapons. Consider the first report from the Russian Ministry of Defense regarding the destruction of HIMARS. The day before we wrote that the Russians claimed to have destroyed 100 rockets for HIMARS, but in fact they destroyed an agricultural company hangar with 800 tons of hay. So far, HIMARS appears to have lived up to the hype, allowing Ukrainian forces to attack Russian ammunition depots and military bases at previously unreachable distances. The strategic impact of these shipments was even more significant, forcing the Russians to move their main bases and supply routes away from the front lines, and throwing their logistics into disarray. The Biden administration announced plans to send an advanced missile system to Ukraine. The HIMARS has a range of about 50 miles, 80 kilometers. The initial announcement said four of these systems would be delivered to Ukraine. For now, it is not clear what weapons the US and the West are supplying, and how many were lost, damaged, or destroyed in the fighting. While hypothetically possible, lifting the 35,800-pound unit to the second floor would not only be extremely challenging from a logistical point of view, but also impractical and pointless, others said. And no actual HIMARS is visible in the short clip. Ukrainian officials, once again, reject this claim, citing Russia's fear of HIMARS as the reason for this attempted disinformation. The claim was also refuted by the Pentagon, which said that to date, there was no credible evidence to suggest that HIMARS units sent to Ukraine had been destroyed or damaged. New videos of several HIMARS units in action continue to appear online, including one published this week. While wartime propaganda flows in full force on both sides of the conflict, Russia certainly has a track record of disinformation that predates the Ukraine campaign. Although official statements indicate that so far 16 of the expected 20 HIMARS units have been delivered to Ukraine by the Pentagon, there is no way to independently verify how many were delivered, and how many are currently in service. There is also no reliable way to definitively corroborate, or deny as false, Russia's claims of successful attacks on HIMARS bases and units, and the evidence Moscow offers cannot stand scrutiny.